Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. Well, this is gonna be one of my short videos that basically touches on two different things. First, I have a debunk from something that Megan said. And second, we're looking at another private correspondence that Harry and Meghan leaked and the ramifications, and it explains everything that's going on right now behind the scenes. Let's go. So once again, you guys all know the allegations that Meghan made in the Oprah show about Archie and his title that he was deserving of, and they were trying to take it away from him and insinuated it was because of his color. Watch this. You have the first member of color in this family. So to start with, Archie is not the first member of color, neither is she in the royal family. The first person was Sophia Charlotte. She was the first black queen of England. She was born in 1744, and Queen Victoria and the current Queen Elizabeth descend from her line. She is the great-great-great-grandmother of the present Queen Elizabeth. Just as an FYI, because I found this unbelievable, she had 15 children with her husband, 13 of whom survived into adulthood, and her fourth eldest son was the father of Queen Victoria. Now, let me remind you, she said this. So when Harry's dad becomes king, automatically, Archie and our next baby would become prince or princess or whatever they're going to be. So it's not their right to take it away, yeah. right? And so I think even with that convention I'm talking about, while I was pregnant, they said they want to change the convention for Archie. Mm. Well, why? Did you get an answer? No. My second problem is what she said in the interview was yet another private conversation that was leaked, although we didn't know it at the time. I said it before and I'll say it again. Charles has been talking about slimming down the monarchy for years, but he apparently sent a letter to Harry and Meghan right before the Oprah interview. And what this letter said was, you didn't want to be senior royals, you've left the country, you don't work for the family anymore, you're independent in another country, no, we're not making your children prince or princess, which is completely reasonable. And they're also not in the direct line to the throne. Let's not forget it was Megan herself who said she wanted to be linked, not ranked. But that explains, doesn't it, all the allegations without any proof. And then this came up. I don't know how true this is. It was on Twitter. Apparently, Charles sent letters through his attorneys letting Harry and Meghan know that Archie and the baby's titles, what, what he was going to do, and that next month he's removing them from the royal websites. So now, Harry and Meghan are getting desperate because they realize they've gone too far and they're about to lose it all. So what did they do? They came out with the fresh racism claims, like I told you about on Sunday. Typical. They're just going to keep pushing and pushing. And then... This popped up, which I found shocking. Well, maybe not shocking, but she had her team do the new baby's Wikipedia page. And as you can see at the bottom, what it says? That she is entitled to become a princess upon Charles' ascension to the throne. And for those of you who are wondering why Harry went along with this mess, that's simple. Apparently, it's coming out now that he had been told also the day before that his military titles were going bye-bye. That's why he agreed to it. You know, for people who dislike the royal family and have told the world what racist pieces of crap they are and how they wouldn't help Megan and she became suicidal, don't you guys think it's like so shocking that they named their baby after the head of that same institution and they're pushing so hard for those titles even though they've left? I just, okay. I also want to add for somebody who wants to be linked and not ranked and who sees herself as just one of the masses, she sure does use that damn title of hers a lot. Well, at least now we know what's going on behind the scenes, why all of this is happening. It's Finn update time. We decided for the very first time, since he's breathing better, to take him downtown for a quick walk. There's lots of noise, cars, people walking around, restaurants. We just decided to see how he would do. And I was pleasantly surprised. Watch this. Got him downtown. He's walking along passing people. He's doing so well. Good boy. He loves downtown. Don't you? I don't think he's 
So now we know what's really going on behind the scenes, why the fresh racism claims have come out and why Megan said all those things in the Oprah interview in the first place, because she knew that they were going to change things and slim down the monarchy. What do you guys think about all this now that you know what's going on behind the scenes? Make sure to leave your comments below. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter. Don't forget you can email me and don't forget about that coffee fund. And as always, you guys have a great day.